Hello, here's Christoph. I would like to show you today a small function in 3D code. And this uh, function is called in the English version, uh, let's have a look, it's called Transform Coffee Tool. How to use this tool? <coughs> you can see I have painted a small part which looks like a little bit of grass or this stuff. I have painted this on a layer here. When I switch this one off, the object, then I see it's a little bit transparent and it's on layer 1. I call it grass. And what I want to do is uh, I would like to have a bigger part with my grass, but I don't like to paint all details again. I would like to use this pattern to copy it over our places. So what I do here is I go a little bit near or zoom in and I use the transform copy tool. A tool options window appear and I can now um, mark my area which have to be copied. In this case the grass will be copied. And now you can see I can move my viewport and the part here with the grass was copied in my memory. So what I can do now is I can move my viewport on a special on a position and press return key and my projection will be projected directly to this to this location. I can do it uh, too with my area here just click into this rectangle and move it around <coughs> and press return when I am ready. So if you like, you can turn this rectangle, just go outside of the rectangle and move your mouse or your pointer and then you can uh, rotate your, your area. And in this way you can copy and project all, <coughs> uh, all the uh, elements here. When you use uh, these uh, points here, you can stretch your, your brush or your projection and in different in different uh, ways and uh, additionally you can rotate all this by clicking outside as i said with uh, in combination with the control key you can um, transform your your projection a little bit so pressing return uses the last transformation but, um, this function is already very nice but the best uh, a possibility for this function in my opinion is you can take this part here and save it to use it later in a different uh, scene. You can do it by clicking on save and you can now save your image, I call it my image <coughs> and it will be saved there. Okay so I can show you I pressed escape key now and I can show you when I use when I want to use the part again in a different situation, I just go to the transform copy tool, go to load, choose my image and open it again and here it is. And I can use it in a different scene. So it works not only here, it's saved, it was saved and can be used everywhere. It's very very nice and uh, very, very cool. Um, <coughs> the other options here can be used for export, which means you can export your project projection to a PSD file. Of course, you can import PSD files to use them as projections. So if if you are uh, working with Photoshop, you can use the files that you have created in Photoshop for a projection here uh, for an object in the Copy Transform tool. Um, another uh, option is you can uh, edit the projection that you have loaded or that you have created in external editor. In this uh, <coughs> case you can use the Photoshop editor because it's uh, set by default. Okay, the other options here uh, are very easy to understand. Of course you can uh, you can do more uh, than just uh, copy a color channel projection. You can of course use the other channels too. So if you have painted uh, uh, dev information and copied the, it in the transform copy tool, you can uh, project dev information too. 
So this modulator uh, uh, change the depth uh, opacity and the depth uh, intensity. This uh, modulator is changing the opacity of your projection. Uh, that I can uh, show to you. Just load my load my image again. Here it is. And when I press normally, when I press return, it will be projected normally by 100%. But when I when I use for example use for example this uh, modulator and say it have to be 0.5, then it will be projected with 50% of intensity. I will show it to you. I press return, and now you can see it was projected, but with 50% transparency. The same happens. <coughs> sorry, the same happens when I use the modulator of two, which means the projection will be projected two times as much as it would do it normally. So I can show you the difference. This is. Well, I do it to one. One is the default. This is a normal projection here, and beside of this, I do it to let's say to five. Then you can see it better. Say return, and now you can see it's a lot of difference. It is uh, the transparency parts here are much more uh, and, and more intensive than the other parts. So these modulators can change the uh, opacity or the the appearance of your of your trans uh, of your projection. The same you can do with the transparency channel. <coughs> with Reese old position, uh, you can move uh, your image to the to a uh, new location, uh, but um, and and can erase your old position. I can show it to you. Uh, let's say uh, you, we want to copy this part here. And use it as a projection. When I do it in this way, it will be marked, and you can take it and project it somewhere. But when I choose this option here on, and use it, and move it then, then I see this part was uh, moved and copied to the memory, and now I can move it and project it somewhere else. So if you need this option, you can do it. With undo, you can uh, reject the old version and but you have, can you have still the same uh, projection in your memory so the next one is uh, you can copy visible layers which means the following I give you an example for example we have here the grass layer so I say I will paint some information so you can see it I say grass Okay, now I make a new layer which is called <coughs> red. Now I take the red color and say red. Okay, this is my red layer and this one is a grass layer. So by default I can copy just the layer which is active. In this case red is active. Now I can move red and project it somewhere. The projection, projection will be projected um, to the red layer too, so you know it now. You can imagine when I click this one on, I can now copy all layers, which means when I take this, the red and the green layer will be, will be copied. In this case, I have clicked including layer O on, which means the gray part here on layer O, oh, layer no, uh, 0, sorry, will be copied too. So I can switch this off. And now only the visible layers, which means the layer grass and the layer red, will be copied. Now I am in the red layer and when I press return now, the information will be uh, projected. What happened? The cool thing is 3D code remembers the layers, what means in your projection both layers will be used. So I show it to you again. I take this part and we all know the red parts are on the red layer and the green parts on the grass layer. So when I project this elements here and press return, my projection will be projected on the right position. 
So the red parts will be, will be projected in the red layer and the green parts in the green layer. That's very cool. All this stuff will be remembered here in this projection. And of course you can save this projection. My image, yes. And when you use it now, for example you load it, my image, and project it. Let's have a look. The red one will be projected here and the green one here. <coughs> um, so let's have make a, a little experiment. I rename this layer ready or rose instead of red. Now I load my image again and project my projection. Return and look what happens. When I switch rows on and off, the red information will be still projected in the red elements, in the rows elements, and in grass. What happens there? 3D code have uh, IDs for these layers inside. So this is ID 0, ID 1, ID 2, and so on. So you can re just re you can rename your layers, but 3D code remembers the layer positions and project your information to there. So I will show you another example. I will delete it and now I load my image projection and use the projection again. In this case only the green position will be projected because there is uh, 3D code is missing the next layer. So if you like to project the red parts you need to open a new layer then you can load your projection in. Move it here, project it, and now both layers are projected. So you need <coughs> enough layers to project your information. This is not so bad because um, you always keep your information in the layers and you can control the information here and that's very good. So the next uh, function and the last one um, you can uh, merge all layers into into one layer. So you remember when I load the projection then both layers will be projected on the positions where we have where it uh, where they was in the origin. So when I delete this one for example the red one and load my projection and I want that both layers, the red and the green one, have to be projected to this here, to the, to the grass. Then I have to click on Paste Merged and say Return. And now both layers will be projected on grass. Here we have it. Okay? So this option keeps you uh, sure to be uh, that the projection will be, will be projected on one layer when you switch it off, then the project will be projected on the origin layers. So you need always the same amount of layers to project the, uh, the projection here. Okay, this is this is worth it for today. I hope you enjoyed my small tutorial, and well, have a nice day, and we will see us again. Bye bye.